Hello everyone, it is Hyper Wars, and welcome back to another episode of Boom Beach. And today, actually, once again, another video. I did not think I was going to be making another video for Boom Beach today, but something funny happened that I just really want to show with you guys. If we head over to our activity log, I, I cleaned up my map, by the way. Right now, 929. Pretty cool stuff. Take a look at this. It is crazy. This is literally after the episode. This happened. This this guy just decided to attack me like crazy. This Arabian guy. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. But he gave me a bunch of diamonds. And that's honestly really awesome and exciting. And I couldn't watch every single replay because he attacked me so much. Like, I cannot watch this one anymore. And on the top of that, you have this guy over here who's just being funny. So let's go ahead and see what he actually did here. Now, if you ever find me on your map i would love for you guys to write a message like this look at this he's just saying hi he's using flares to spell out hi at me <laughs> I, whenever i saw it's like just cracking up honestly i don't know if he's watching whatever i'm making like these videos or if he's just knowing that i'm active i'm, I'm kind of guessing that he might be watching you know otherwise he wouldn't be doing this so much look at this he's dropping a smoke here he's dropping one here what is he doing Oh, look at this. He's making a smiley face. <laughs> this is crazy. It's hilarious. And he's dropping a bunch of artillery to uh, to draw the nose there. It's kind of a sad smiley, if you ask me. Then he has another attack. Uh, haven't seen this one, by the way. So let's see what happens here. Uh... <laughs> this guy's just... He's dropping artillery of everything. He can drop nine artilleries, and that's going to be the ending of this attack. And then the last... Hopefully not least. And what is he going to be doing? Uh, again with the flares. He's back again with the flares. And <laughs> he's making a smiley face again. You know, if you if you ever see me on your map, please do this. You will make my day, honestly. If you make a smiley face or something, then I'd know it's one of you guys, okay? So, or make an R. Make an R with a flare. That'd be awesome. I'm gonna feature everybody who, who follow like visits, visits me and then draws an R on the map or on my base while attacking or I don't know, whatever. Anyway, uh, I did kind of want to jump into uh, maybe a little replay of what this guy is doing. So, he has some knowledge. He's actually using different attack strategies to try to take me down. The first one's kind of interesting. He's using the hookah attack strategy with a medic. Something that I personally don't really use because I don't think it works that well. But I see this uh, attack combination coming up more often these days. So, it's definitely understandable that that one uh, can work. Uh, tanks and medics didn't take me down. He's 107. 70% gunboat energy boosted up. This time, same attack strategy didn't take me down. He's switching it up to Scorchers and Tanks. Uh, no troops deployed, I think he was trying out. Then Tanks and Medics again. And on this one, he's using RZM. And I can actually watch this one. So how about we just jump in and see how someone else is using the RZM attack strategy. Up to this point, you guys have always seen me use the RZM attack strategy, but never someone else. So let's actually evaluate where we see that this attack goes wrong. So first off, he starts off strong. He's using the gunboat energy to take care of the rocket launcher. Obviously, you need to be a little bit concerned with the shock blaster. Because that one's going to be doing a ton of damage onto uh, the, the rifleman especially. And also the Zuka and the medics. Uh, I think he's done here now. So let's speed up two times the speed here. And, uh, oh no, he's actually dropping a barrage onto the um, shock launcher. Shock blaster over there. And then he is using... The okay, so this is something I personally wouldn't do. I would honestly try and finish it off completely or otherwise you would just have to shock it because it would be a waste of units or a waste of gunboat energy. Anyway, let's keep on going here. He has a uh, facing uh, against my machine gun, which is maxed out, takes it down. There's one landing craft more Zookas. Oh, there it is. Okay, so it's actually taken down with the gunboat energy that he gained from attacking me right here. Um, so what I'm thinking is, yeah, exactly like what I was going to say, he's too deep into uh, the base. And this flamethrower is able to get so many riflemen. And because of that, I can already tell at this point that this is going to be a takedown. There's simply too little riflemen to cruise all the way from here to here. Because you still have to go through like three mortars, 
uh, two flamethrowers, uh, a bunch of boom cannons. Well, they don't really matter, but the boom cannons uh, at themselves, like, they will actually hurt. So I would have retreated possibly here, uh, but this guy keeps on going. Let's see how this one's going to be going. He's actually getting a couple of uh, buildings um, here, but then the boom cannon starts hitting. He throws the critters, which is a bad move because uh, the flamethrower will take them out really easily. Uh, but at this point, he, he barely has any more flamethrowers left, but he's um, any more riflemen left, but he's still charging in with the Zookas. So uh, maybe he's hoping that he's going to be able to do a whole lot of damage. Then the shock launcher pops in here, doing a lot of damage onto the Zookas. But luckily for him, the medics are there to heal everything up. And in this particular situation, we go still have those mines over there. They're going to definitely hurt the Zookas pretty badly. And that's going to be resulting into the win. And that really shows how important mine placement is. Make sure you place the mines not all clumped up together onto the headquarters, but actually spread them around on your base because you never know. Uh, and in this case, I feel the mines actually won me the battle or shock launcher. But still, mines played a significant role in this takedown for sure. So, let's see what the final attack is. Uh, went with the same. So let's see if he actually learned from the way he did the first attack, right? So, gonna go four times the speed again. Uh, not have to watch the same thing over again. I would have personally retreated because this time around he used five artilleries to uh, to get rid of the rocket launchers. I would personally try and do uh, one barrage and one artillery. If it's really close, I'll keep on trying until all of them are down that way. Saves a whole lot of gunboat energy that you can use to shock. Um, otherwise, I wouldn't. I don't know. I don't, honestly, otherwise, wouldn't bother. Would you try different attack strategies or something like that? Again, same thing with the flamethrower. Just the flamethrower is his downfall. If this guy is watching, the flamethrower is gonna cause you uh, to lose your rifleman here. So, I kind of think the exact same thing is going to be happening. Uh, but this time around, more riflemen are gone, and he's retreating real quickly, resulting in a loss. So that's going to be doing it for this video. Just want to give you guys a quick little update about the funny stuff that went down. If anything happens, I'll let you guys know. But until then, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. As always, make sure if you guys like this video, to boom, give it a thumbs up. And that being said, this has been Reverse for Boom Beach. I'm going to be signing off, and I'll see you guys in the next one.